watching Sky Sports News, the headlines from the England camp. Ashley Cole reveals he is really looking forward to this match and doesn't feel one bit nervous. He said, even if I were to make a costly mistake and incur the wrath of the entire English nation for the rest of my life, it's not something I'm dwelling on at the moment. He then had to cut the news conference short, however, and ran briskly in the direction of the hotel bathroom. Stephen Gerrard says he's happy to play anywhere for England as long as it's not on the left or right side of midfield, or in the middle with Frank Lampard. He says the squad is absolutely together in their pursuit of World Cup glory and says he doesn't have a problem with the recent behaviour of former England captain John Terry. He said, I don't have a problem with John as a player or as a person, but I'd prefer if he wasn't English. In other breaking news this morning, England striker Wayne Rooney was seen eating several oranges on the team bus, increasing speculation that he may be suffering from a lack of vitamin C. Joining us from the University of Middlesex is Professor Randolph J. Hertz, who specialises in the study of the effects of vitamin C. Professor, is Wayne Rooney eating several oranges a cause for concern? Uh, toxicity can result in the overstimulation of the limbic system and the release of catecholamines via the protein interconnectors of the brain. And depending on the chemical makeup of the individual, vitamin C uh, overdose can result in foul and abusive language and speaking in a scouser accent and calling the referee up. Thank you, uh, Professor. I'm joined now by Professor Morris Healy, expert on chemical makeup of the individual. Would you go along with that, Professor? No. Thank you, Professor. Well, nothing for us to worry about then. After the break, we'll be talking to the Sun's Steve Curry about the length of the England shorts, which at 19 inches from waist to leg are the longest in World Cup history. Back after this.